Um, so the next part of it is about turnaround words. And a turnaround word simply means that we're going to change the order that the problem comes in. Remember how I said, whatever comes first, you need to put first. Whatever comes second, you need to put second. But there are times where we need to turn the problem around. This only really applies to subtracting and dividing. And we're only going to talk about the subtracting part. Okay, but let's look at what those are like. We're also going to do some that are multi-step, which means they have more than one operation. We'll talk about those two. All right, so this is on that cutout that you have right there at the top of the screen, number six. I mean, sorry, at the top of the page. You see it, number six? Y'all seeing it? Okay, so um, actually, do me a favor. Before we do this one, will you go back to your foldable for a second? Flip the page back to your foldable. foldable flip look at the subtraction tab look at the subtraction tab and there are three things that are on your foldable honey um, there are three things that are um, circled there for you the first one says less <coughs> less than the second one says from. from that's the hard one to remember from and the third one says Fewer than. Okay, so two of them use the word than. So less than, fewer than, but then also the word from. And that means that we're going to flip-flop the order when we see this. So in this case, we have six from a number. So I want you to circle, as we do this, I want you to circle any turnaround words you see. This is the hardest part, is to remember to turn them around. So when you see a turnaround word from, circle it. What that means is that you're going to put X first and 6 second. Does that make sense? Turn around means we're going to flip-flop the order. So from means subtract. We're going to put X first because a number goes first and 6 second. X minus 6. Do you see it? Okay, it's very important you know how those turnaround words work. If you miss them, you'll get the whole answer wrong. Okay? All right, any questions? All right, let's do the next one. S uh, three less than a number. So what are the turnaround words in this one? Less, less, less than. than. Circle less than. So what goes first, three or the number? The number, the number which is the variable, which is x. X less than <coughs> or subtract three, not less than. That's confusing. Okay, so that one is x minus 3. Okay, next, 5 fewer than a number. So our turnaround words are fewer than, fewer than circle them. Put what first, 5 or x? x first minus 5, x minus 5. Okay. Now, the next little box there says all together practice. Okay. I want you to answer these five. First, before you answer anything, highlight or circle all of the turnaround words that you see. Circle those first and then write your answers and then we'll talk about them in just a minute. All right. So in number one, are there turnaround words, um, Peyton Scott? What are they? Fewer than, so we should circle fewer than. Okay, in number two, are there turnaround words, um, Peyton Green? Yes. You sure? No. Nope. <laughs> no turnaround words in number two. Number three, are there turnaround words, Gareth? Yes. What are they? Artist from. From, very good. <coughs> number four, are there turnaround words, Nathan? Yes. What are they? Less than. And number five are their turnaround words. Um, uh, Sydney, I won't call you Skylar. That's what my problem is. Sorry. Less, Sydney? Um, less. less than. Very good. Okay. So all of them except for number two had turnaround words. So number two, let's do that one first real quickly. A number, so X goes first, decreased by 10. So X minus 10. Okay. 
Okay, now let's look at uh, number one. Who thinks they have the correct answer to number one on their paper? Dasani, give it to me. X minus two. Very good. X goes first. Minus two. So X minus two for number one. Ten minus, I'm sorry, X minus ten for number two. How about number three? Four from a number. <laughs> Bless you. Good, yeah. Um, three, number three. Minus Very good. X minus 4. A number less than 2. Kylie, you want to give it to me? 2 minus X. Excellent. 2 minus X. And then 13 less than a number. Um, Remy. X minus, I mean, X minus 13. Very good. X minus 13. Very good. <coughs> okay, so the next thing on your cutout, we're going to do these. Um, and it's the same idea, okay? So we, what's first goes first, what's second goes second. So the first thing says the product, that means what operation? Multiply. Multiply. The product of three and a number. So let's do that part. The product of three and a number. So the product of three and a number looks like what? Three times X. Or three X. If you wrote three times X, it's okay, but three X is better. And then we have increased by 4. So increased means we're going to add 4. So this one is 3x plus 4. The next one says the quotient of x and 12 decreased by 3. No turnaround word here. So the quotient means we're going to use what operation? Division. What goes on top of our fraction? X, because it came first. So quotient means divide. X over 12 decreased by, that means minus, 3. X over 12, bless you, minus 3. X over 12 minus 3. Any questions? Okay. Okay. Number three, 11 less than four times the number. Now, what's different about this one than the others? What's different, Rebecca? Turn around words. So, what's after less than comes before it. So, what goes first is four, four. times a number. So, that's 4x. And then, less than means subtract. 11. Very good. Okay? Everybody's okay with that? Yes, sir? Okay, because the less than means we're going to turn it around. So, that means whatever comes after the less than needs to go first, and whatever comes before it needs to go second. It's a good question. Okay? Two more than six times the number. Okay, now, more than can be considered turnaround. So what comes first? 6x, six six, right? 6 times a number. So 6x plus 2. Two more than 6 times a number. Okay, so far?